Well, I'm off to the studio to shoot an episode of Area 51 with Jake. I think you're gonna like this project. It turned out really cool. We'll see you over there. I've got the studio all ready to go, and Jake is here, so we're gonna get this going. Jake. Hey. How goes it? Good, good. Let's get this thing going. Let's do this. It's uh, Project 79 already. Well, that's one away from 80. That is true. <laughs> and 79 away from one. That is also true. Area 51 and a half, take one. Hi, it's Richie and Jake in the Sonic Dad Studios here to bring you another preview of our next project. Project number 79. 79. And I think you're really going to like this one. It was a lot of fun to come up with. So, if you've been into Walmart lately, you may have seen one of these. You know what this is? I do, but only because I can see a wing <laughs> sticking up over there. This is a $10 marginal quality styrofoam glider. No, this is a Skyrider. Okay. Yeah, so. Yeah. Brand and, placement right there. And it says it flies up to 150 feet. Now, on a I've good day. <laughs> I've never been able to get it to fly 150 feet. So maybe you have to be an Oly Olympic athlete on the top of a hill with a tailwind. I don't know. Or standing on a 152 foot cliff. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. Best I've been able to do maybe 60 feet or something like that. So project number 79 is a device that will like let you take this glider and I, I can get the glider to fly maybe 10 times further than I can throw it. So and Richie's got an arm, he can throw yeah. a car. So here it is, a couple of pieces to it. This is one of the pieces and this is another one. And basically what this is, is a launching system. There's 150 feet of material on this reel 30 feet of the elastic and 120 feet of, basically that is just masonry yarn. I guess, what do they call it? Masonry line, it's not yarn. It's Technically, nylon. it's twisted mason line. Okay, well I stand correct. Um, and the elastic is made out of an exercise band. <laughs> it's a six inch wide by six feet long and I cut it in strips. So what, what are the costs of these? If you were to walk into Walmart today, get them off the shelf? Um, I don't know, that's a buck and a half or something like that, or maybe two bucks. You may have some of this stuff on hand. I think this is uh, seven or eight bucks. Okay. Um, you probably have a tent stake. Um, let me show you the other part of it. And, and basically, this is a launching system. So you go to the park, um, use a tent stake, Push this into the grass. Now, if you don't have a tent steak, do you have to buy a tent or can you buy just the steak? <laughs> you can buy just the steak. This is like a buck. Sweet. Yeah, good question. Um, so you drive the tent steak in. Um, one end connects to the tent steak. The, the elastic end does. The, uh, the string side will attach to your glider. And so what you'll do is uh, with a paper clip and a couple of jumbo popsicle sticks, you'll make this little hook. This assembly attaches to the glider, so let me show you that. a better name than a little hook. Um, how about a elastic launching hook? Accelerator device. That's good, I like it. Yes. So you can see I've got it attached to the bottom of the glider right there. I like to put packing tape kind of in an area and then I, I use um, clear tape to attach it. And the reason for that is so I can make little adjustments if I need so to. So you put packing tape? Packing tape straight down on the first. glider. Yeah. And that gives me a nice surface to tape the hook down. Okay. And allows me to pull the smaller tape up and make slight adjustments so it's in like the hook. like an accelerator hook sandwich. There you go, yeah. So um, there is a metal ring, and I use two metal rings, one on the elastic side and one on the string side. You can get this little uh, ring set in the automotive section for about a buck. So um, you take that little ring, that's connected to the string and that goes onto the hook. Now, does it matter where you place it? It absolutely hook? does matter where you place it. So, essentially, it, you it's learn that? a lot of experimenting and, <laughs> and research. The hard so, way. Yeah. 
basically and, and part of what is screwy is this this is a swept wing glider which complicates things a little bit so i, I had to kind of do some trial and error the, this system exists in a larger form for remote control gliders mm -hmm. so what i wanted to do was come up with something that was simple and cheap and um, scaled down and designed for the mass of a glider like this so because of the swept wing, I found the sweet spot is about in the center of the wing root. And, and for our audience that doesn't know what a swept wing is, what well, is Well, you can see the wings taper back. Yes, it's a crooked wing. Yeah. <laughs> so a typical RC glider, pull this wing out a little bit, would have like a, a wing like that. Okay. So, okay, so um, the other thing that you need to do to get your glider ready for the launching is add these little trim tabs. You can see I have some little tabs on the elevator and I have one on the rudder. So um, I have been able to get somewhere around 30 second flights with this launcher. Which is way more than 150 feet. Yeah, but there's a good side of that and a bad side. Oh. Good side is really cool and it flies for a long time. The bad side is you have to if, run. You, if you want to get it back, <laughs> you got to trim it so it goes in circles or you'll never see it again. <laughs> Land on somebody's roof or in a tree or something. So that's the purpose of the rudder trim tab. So okay. I, can, I can adjust it and get it to turn. Um, the reason I have trim tabs on the elevator is to get a good flight, you need to trim it for a nice glide. This um, glider design pretty much has a fixed elevator, a fixed horizontal stabilizer, so I can't really adjust it to get a really nice glide. And the way it comes out of the package, it's not that great. Um, the nose tends to drop, and I don't get a good glide, so I added these trim tabs. And there will be templates in the instructions for these trim tabs and for everything else, the, the reel, which is made out of foam core board. So anyway, um, before you launch, you want to trim your glider, make sure it's gliding nicely. Now, do you, can, can you, so you do that by hand? Yeah, just hand launch. Okay. Yeah. Uh, moderate speed, you're just looking for a nice, gentle uh, glide. So, um, we are going to run over to the park and set this thing up and give you a demonstration. And after that, we'll come back and kind of wrap up. Okay. So, you ready to go? Yeah, good thing I brought my running shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, we are at the park. Yes. Got the glider. Got the glider. We got are the ready. launcher and the tent stake. Okay, let's do it. And luckily, we don't have a bunch of soccer games going on, and the conditions are really nice. Should be good. Okay. So should we place a, a bet? See if I can if I can throw it farther than you can launch it. You buy me dinner. You're on. All right. But that doesn't go in reverse. Oh, it in. doesn't. No. That's a one-way bet. Uh, I know, right? I can't lose. <laughs> All right, Richie's going to show us how it's done. Okay, so we're going to launch from this point, and I'm going to start unwinding the string here. So I'm just going to push the stake in. I put it in about a 45 degree angle, and then just hook the elastic around it, and that's ready to go. All right. We walk back with the string until we feel about two pounds of force on the elastic. How do you tell what two pounds feels like? Well, I have a calibrated wrist. <laughs> All right. Here we go. <laughs> right in the tree. Good shot. Hope you brought your tree climbing shoes. I did. Well done. That tree eats airplanes. Stay away from that one. It's mean. <laughs> okay, ready, Go set. Ahead.
Nice catch, Jake. That's why we need a really big park. Yeah, it got a nice little bump on the noggin. Yeah, it, it got actually chipped it in three play. I don't know how that happened. Maybe that was the tree. <laughs> Could be. So, got the glider back in one piece. What do yes. you think? Well, I'm tired. Yeah, a lot of running around. It is a bit, bad, a bit of exercise. Not too bad. You gotta pull the string back and it, it's good kind of exercise. Pull the string back, hook it to your glider. I could teach and my dog to retrieve it, but yeah, then there you go. chew up the, the plane. Yep. So that's project number 79. Um, it's going to be a skill level four. Take you about an hour and a half to build. And what would you say the rough materials cost of all, all this stuff? Assuming if, you had if none If you had to it. buy everything, probably about 15 bucks. If you have some things on hand, um, less. <laughs> Is the golden steak real gold? No, it's real <laughs> yellow plastic. Real plastic. No, this this is fantastic. This is a great project. I'm excited to build this one myself. Yeah, it's it's pretty fun. So that's project number 79. Hope you have a lot of fun putting it together and flying it in a very large park. Make sure it's large. <laughs> so yeah. until next time, I'm Richie. And I'm Jake. Now it's your turn to go make something cool with somebody you care about. We'll see you later. Um, Okay, let's try this. So that's project 79. Hope you have fun building it. It really was a lot of fun to put together. So until next time, I'm Richie. And I'm Jake. We'll see you next time. No, that's not what I say. Heck, um, that's your turn. Okay. I knew I was forgetting something. Next time, we'll see you next time. <laughs> yeah.